Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to bring you the vision video. What I've guessed today is something a little bit different. Uh, today I want to sit down and talk to you guys and pretty much discuss everything we know so far about the Division 2 in one video. Now as you guys know, E3 is just around the corner and that's pretty much the area where the Division 2 is finally going to be shown to the world. Not only with gameplay, but there's also going to be a bit more details, I do suppose. Uh, maybe official release date, if not, then we're going to definitely get a general ballpark of when this game is coming out. And as I said, I wanted to make a video, kind of talk to you guys and get you hyped up a little bit for this game. And I do think it's going to be way better than the first one, not only because of better graphics and better kind of flow of the game, but also there's going to be probably better uh, anti-cheat agents and also um, a bit less bugs, I do suppose, in the next one. So as I said, I'm really, really excited for it. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video or find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this. So the first thing I do want to talk about is the official reveal. I'm not really sure why, but some people get kind of confused by this and what this means. Uh, so on June 12th to the 14th, that's when the E3 event is going on in Los Angeles. It doesn't mean that this game is coming out in June. I, I know some people actually think this and it's a bit kind of strange. It just means that June 12th to the 14th, uh, there's going to be an event hosting uh, pretty much all the new games that are coming out. It's pretty much a platform where... Um, all the new developers and creators can pretty much show their game to the world and it's a huge thing and that's pretty much where the Division 2 is going to be announced. It's going to be shown with gameplay as I said and maybe, just maybe, a official release date will be announced as well in that event. Um, it's not really something we can count on. Maybe we're going to get a ballpark as I said before but everyone is hoping for a official release date because that will be ideal. The next thing we know so far is that there's a new job listing for the Division 2 and that is a monetization designer. Now, what that pretty much means is anytime there is a supply drop or a loot crate in the game, there's also a designer behind that to pretty much, I don't want to say control it, but kind of like put ideas into it and, and see what, um you know, they can sell to the public. Like, for example, in Call of Duty, you had the weapon variants, uh, like different weapons or also the gear variants and stuff like that. In the division, we see this with encrypted caches and what makes them really special and really good, in my opinion, in this game is because they're all vanity items. Nothing really changes with the weapons. If you buy, um, you know, $100 worth of crates, it's not like you're gonna get a better gun. It's not like you're gonna get a better uh, chest piece or a holster, anything like that. And that's what really, you know, makes a lot of people happy, including myself with these encrypted caches and these supply drops is because they are just vanity items. Now for the Division 2, they're actually looking for a new designer and this could mean a bunch of new things. One, they want obviously more ideas to kind of incorporate in the game to see what they can, uh, you know, give us if it's more weapon skins, more gear skins, more this or, or that. But it also can mean that there's going to be a different kind of loot drop in the game where it's going to be pretty much like, I don't want to say pay to play or, you know, anything like that. But it could be something very similar to that. Also, this can mean a more advanced and better season pass for the Division 2 um, because as you guys know in the Division 1, the season pass wasn't really the greatest, it doesn't really offer you that much uh, rewards or that much things in the game. But I do think for the Division 2, the season pass should really include more expansions to the map and also um, a bit more missions or like a different expansion to the missions. I do think that will be fair and really, really good. The next thing we have is a possible in-game battle royale. Now what that pretty much means is that there's going to be either a battle royale in the game or it's going to be a different addition uh, kind of to the game where you could buy separately and have a battle royale experience. I'm, I'm not really sure if this is 100% confirmed yet or not, but they did say and there was an article kind of written and announced that there's going to be a different kind of group of developers being hired for Massive um, to pretty much develop a battle royale. Once again, this doesn't mean a battle royale is going to be in the game 100%. This can also mean that there's going to be an expansion or a kind of separate thing you can buy for the game where it's going to be a battle royale for like 10 bucks or, or 5 bucks. Where you could just go in with your character and just have a fair um, kind of advantage over everyone where everyone starts with a pistol or, you know, assault rifle with the same gear with everything. And then you could have a battle royale kind of experience instead of, you know, playing the Dark Zone 24-7 or just playing PvE missions 24-7. You have a choice of going into the battle royale and having fun over there. The one thing that really surprised me is that this game has been in development for two years. So pretty much what that means is that we can possibly get this even game to come out and, and be playable for everyone. Even this year, uh, I know a lot of people are saying, oh, this game is not going to come out till like 2019 or 2020 since it just got announced and they still have to work on it. 
But a lot of people don't really realize and kind of know that this game actually has been in the works for two uh, years, as I said. Um, if you guys want to check that out, I will have an article in the description. You guys can read about it. But I do think that's pretty cool. And I do think it's going to give us a bit more hope that this game is coming out really, really soon um, to kind of, you know, give us something else to play. And, you know, I, I just found that kind of interesting uh, that this has been in development for that long. For anyone asking, as of right now, this game is only coming out on PC, PS4, and Xbox at the moment. The last thing we know as of right now is that in June, on the regular game, we're going to be getting an update called Shields, and pretty much what that means is it's going to be a way or a kind of system to get new rewards for the Division 2, so instead of starting it at zero or with nothing, we're going to be able to do some combinations, I'm assuming, or, or something else in the update, and we're pretty much going to get either vanity items or maybe a new weapon, maybe some gear, something like that, that, you know, in, instead of starting the Division 2 at zero, as I said, if you do these combinations, so if you do these shields, you're at least going to be rewarded with something in the new game. Anyways, that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As I said, right now, this is pretty much everything we know on the game and kind of the big things. I mean, there's probably some smaller things I didn't mention um, that are not really that important, but... As of right now, these are the, the main things we know, and, you know, hopefully at E3 we're going to get an official release date, as I said, so we know when this game is officially coming out. But once again, thank you all so much for watching, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Travels.